Uh, welcome, this is Hatchet Crypto Academy and I'll be your coach uh, or I'll be your teacher tonight and I'll be, I'll be taking you through the Hacut Crypto Academy Masterclass Overview. Basically, what we will be looking at is um, is what you will be expecting when we start our classes on Monday. Already we have, I think we only have uh, 20 slots remaining so far because yesterday after the masterclass, an, a number of people actually were able to make payments and a number of uh, people were able to make the payments today. So we still have like 20 slots remaining. So if you're here and uh, you don't want to miss uh, the masterclass, make sure you join, you make the payment before Monday because the class is going to start on officially on Monday. So with that said, um, we are not going to waste any more time. We are going to get started directly to what has brought us here. So first is to greet you and to congratulate the, all of you who are here today for the bold step that you've taken uh, and for whoever introduced you to this opportunity because I want to believe that most of you have actually been referred here by friends and maybe family, okay? And I want to promise you that this is going to be a very life-changing opportunity to each one of you in this meeting tonight. So it's very, very important that you pay attention and you listen carefully so that you don't miss anything as far as this masterclass overview is concerned tonight. So welcome and welcome again. So the next thing is um, just to affirm to you that at Hacute Crypto Academy, we do our best to support one another as we learn together and to make sure that each and every person understands or is able to understand or to relate with even the local things because whatever we are going to be learning is a totally new industry to most of you because I want to believe most of you are probably very new into this industry. So it might be, it might sound very ambiguous to you for the first time, but you will get hang of it as we get started, especially with introductions. So with that said, I want us to know who you're dealing with, you know, just before we go into what we will be learning. It's very, very important that you get to understand who is Hercute. So, Hakut is a young crypto enthusiast uh, who developed interest in cryptocurrency over the past six years and have helped quite a number of uh, students or quite a number of people to learn about cryptocurrencies or in as much as the cryptocurrency field is concerned. I'm also a hodler, a crypto investor. You learn who a hodler is in class. This is just a slang that is normally used by cryptonists, okay? I'm also a crypto investor, a crypto trader, and uh, a crypto coach and a network and a networker okay and networking is one of the things that i like the most because um it normally helps me to you know go to new places and meet new people and also get to learn new stuff because you're learning from different cultures and people with different beliefs and people with in different industries okay so networking is very very important and the, the fact that we are in this class and probably we've never met, we are actually networking online. But I hope to meet each and every one of you sometimes uh, in future. Now, I'm as well a graduate with a bachelor's degree in film production and animation. But unfortunately, all it's so unfortunate that I've never made even a single penny from this uh, degree that I did. Also, I've never been employed um, since I graduated, okay? So yes, I still have the degree, I have the paper, I have the photos that I took during the graduation, but I've never made any dime from whatever I started. And probably this is uh, uh, the story to most of you, maybe. Now, I'm also a global trotter, meaning I like traveling. Um, like today I was sharing with a number of students some fun facts about myself, and I was telling them that I've, deep, I've visited uh, over 12 countries, over 10 countries, um, outside Africa. So I love traveling so much. Every time there's an opportunity for travel, I will not hesitate. And of course, I'm a husband and a dad to two very beautiful kids. So that is who, you, who I am. And of course, as we get to engage with one another, as we go on with the curriculum, you're going to learn much more about myself 
and we are going to be close and we are going to create a good friendship and also of course get to know you and what you do probably you might be out there and you have some services that i might need and well why would i go looking for someone else if you're there and you can offer me the service that i'm looking for so that is why i like uh, networking so the other thing is um, uh, you can see some three slides here you can see these three pages here so we have this one here uh, which leads lock of bitcoins and then we have this one it's still a lock of bitcoins a screenshot and then we have this one so i'm going to start with this one here this is a screenshot of the very first crypto transaction that i personally made okay so you can see this transaction was made on august 23rd in the year 2017 this was the very first time that i bought my first bitcoin okay i had not bought any bitcoin before uh, so i was wondering where to buy bitcoin and i was guided by a lady called cynthia that i can buy from uh, coin mama using my debit card and i actually went ahead and actually bought some bitcoins worth 70 dollars back then now later on i came and realized about local bitcoins and local bitcoins is um uh, like an exchange platform where you can buy and sell cryptocurrency with the local currency okay that is why it's called local bitcoin that is to mean if you're in kenya you can sell your bitcoins or buy your bitcoins in kenya shillings and use payment methods available in kenya like mpesa if you are in dubai you can buy and sell bitcoins from local bitcoins and pay with uh, dirhams you know if you are in south africa you can buy and sell bitcoins and pay with runs like that like that that is why it's called local bitcoins so when i came to learn about local bitcoins i started trading and you can see how long this account was created okay this account was created four years and ten months ago okay and you can see i've traded between 20 to 50 btc okay and i've traded with over a thousand uh, i've done over a thousand trades and with over 737 different traders and you can see my feedback score is a hundred percent okay and again you can see here that i've been trusted by over a hundred people you can see down below and way down here you can see that i haven't been blocked by anyone meaning that i was able to satisfy uh, their trades uh, as they needed here you will see some verifications that tells you how far you've gone in as much as trading is related in local bitcoins and you can see for you to be able to uh, to be a Taiwan verified you need to at least trade a thousand euros in a year which is pretty much uh, uh, doable by everyone then for you to be tire two verified you need to be able to to trade up to twenty thousand euros that that is almost like two million Kenya shillings okay and then for you to be tire two verified you need to uh trade up to 200,000 euros this is almost 25 million kenya shillings and you can see mine is verified this is to tell you that in a year i could be in a position i could i had already traded over 200,000 euros uh, per year and then uh, you can also see that i'm tier 3 verified meaning i have unlimited you know uh, i can trade unlimited volumes okay and i can do unlimited transaction so this is just to show you uh how back i started trading and how uh, long i've been in the industry and how well i've been able to perform into the industry because you cannot get up to tier three in as if you've not been trading quite big volumes you don't have the experience you cannot get a feedback score of 100 percent if you've been doing some malicious things okay so this is just to show you how i started uh, uh, as far as trading is concerned now the next thing is the topics and the cost outline and this is basically what we are going to be looking at so please make sure you pay uh, attention and if you have any question just jot it down and then at the end of this presentation you can ask your question so the very first thing that you're going to do is just the basics and the commencements and that will uh, include introductions and getting to know each other okay whereby uh, we need to know who we are working with maybe you are in an industry like i mentioned earlier 
that I might need your services. So if you're here in class and probably you offer some services that I might need in future, why then should I go and look for someone from a different place? Or you might be having a skill that I'm, I, I've been looking to learn. So why should I just go and try looking for someone else somewhere instead of just dealing with you who you will be in this group? So we will do introductions and getting to know ourselves. Then after that, I'll be giving you some guides and some needed materials that you will need uh, to be able to go on with this course as required. Then I'll share with you some very useful links and websites needed for you to have them ready. And of course, interactions and agreement on time, okay? So uh, then after that, that will basically be the very first day. Then after that, we are going into our week one topic. And in our week one, we are going to look at overview and the history of money. Basically, what this means, we are going to date back all the way since we started doing uh since we started doing butter trade when people started transacting transacting when trades started you know trade you will get to know that trade is exchange of one commodity to the other or one commodity to to a service so we are going to start way back when there was butter trade then we will come to how people used to transact with cowrie shells then gold then into coins if you've heard of uh, penny and dururu you know those coins that had a hole at the middle uh, then we come to the paper money then we come to the digital money or the digital way of transaction of transacting uh, for example mpesa and the likes of uh, online banking swift transfer rtgs so we are going to come slowly and slowly until we get to introduce you to crypto. Why are we going to learn about the history of money? It's because uh, what we will be dealing with, cryptocurrency is basically money but in a digital form. And for you to be able to understand how cryptocurrency works, it's very, very important that you start from the basics. Okay, And that is why in every topic, even back in school, almost every topic usually had introduction whereby you are introduced on uh, how to do this and that. For example, if you're learning to become a carpenter, you'll not go directly on starting to make a table. No, you'll first need to learn the tools. There is a hammer, there is a nail, there is a timber. This is how you cut it. You need to use a saw to cut it. You know, that background information just be before you get uh, into the real action. So we are going to do the overview and the history of money. This will prepare you now into getting to cryptocurrency as education. Okay. Now, after that, we are going to learn about introduction to blockchain technology and what it is. Then we are going to look at the Satoshi value and how Bitcoin is measured. Okay. Then after that, you are going to look at the movements of money and what gives money value and the internet usefulness of money. So after we've looked at that, that will basically lay a foundation on basically what money is, how money is transacted, why there is money, and how you can transform money, you know. After we've done that, we will go now into our second week. And in our second week, we are going to look at... Um, what is it? Sorry go get get it from auntie so in our second week we are going to start with crypto mining okay now crypto mining you'll get to understand what it is and it's not like mining the way we mine uh, minerals from the quarry no these are different mining that we do as far as cryptocurrencies are concerned all right and then you're going to learn about wallets and exchanges okay and you're going to uh, find out that just like the way we have M-Pesa and bank accounts and safes to keep our fiat currency. Fiat currency is the normal money that we use, like the Kenya shillings, the dollar, the euro, the rand, whatever, uh, uh, whatever uh, cash you use, that is fiat currency. So, of course, with this fiat currency, we have the different ways to store it. There are people who decide to keep it under the mattress. There are people who decide to put it in the safes. The other people who decide and feel that they are safe, their money is in the bank. Others keep it in M-Pesa. In cryptocurrency, we are trying to run away from this centralized 
means of keeping money whereby you can have a million dollars or you can even have half a million dollars but no one will ever know or no one will come and freeze your account because they don't understand the source of your wealth okay so we are going to learn about wallets and exchanges how you can actually exchange this cryptocurrency into fiat currency if you want to convert your money uh, or your crypto into mpesa how do you do that we're also going to look at how to store them okay that is where now the wallets and exchanges will come in we're going to learn how to create them in terms of views of these wallets and exchanges and of course the wallet security because it's very very important that you are able to secure where you've kept your funds okay so that will be our week two then we will go into our week three in our week three we are going to learn about what we call the centralized exchanges and uh, we are going to differentiate them with decentralized exchanges and mostly we are going to use an exchange called binance uh, because it's one of the largest uh, exchange in the world with the highest liquidity okay and with the highest reputation okay so we are going to be using we will be using binance our cent, as our centralized exchange uh, as an example okay but any other centralized exchange out there uh, actually works pretty much the same as binance okay but uh, i prefer binance because of the high liquidity and high reputation and even it offers much more service services than um the other exchanges we're also going to look at decentralized exchanges and you're going to learn what they are the likes of uniswap night swap app swap pancake swap they might sound um uh, very ambiguous to you at the moment but don't worry we are going to learn about all of these and by the time you're coming out of the academy you will be in a position to explain and use them now the other thing will be about crypto ponzi schemes and scams i want to believe a good number of you here probably you've previously lost money through cryptocurrency programs or through uh, cryptocurrency investments maybe cloud mining or something of the sort if so then you are in the right place because after this class you will be in a position to be able to tell whether whatever opportunity or whatever program you're being presented to with is a good project or not so we are going to look at some of the aspects or some of the elements that you need to look at for you to be able to tell whether a program is a genuine one or not okay so that will be very very handy and then in our week four we are going to learn about what nfts are probably you might have heard the word nft or non-fungible tokens okay we are going to learn what these non-fungible tokens are and how they operate and in this topic you will understand that people have now changed on how they value things uh, in the last class yesterday, I was giving an example of how um, someone bought the very first tweet to be ever made by the co-founder of Twitter, Jack, das, uh, Jack Dorsey, at $2.6 million. Just imagine, buying a tweet for $2.6 million. This is a tweet that you cannot even hold. You cannot even hug it. You cannot put it in your pocket. You cannot pick it and go put it somewhere. But there's someone who bought it at 2.6 million dollars why did he buy it so it is in the nfts class that you're going to understand how people are changing and not really how people are changing but how people are changing their appreciation on stuff and things okay and you will see how blockchain is playing a very great part as far as uh, nfts is concerned then you are going to learn about yield farming and what it is and also staking now it is in yield farming and staking that you're going to learn about the various ways that you can make passive income in cryptocurrency you know just passive income by just investing and letting your money work for you and actually you're going to be getting much better uh, returns than the banks are giving currently most banks especially here in kenya they're charging they are giving you if you do a fixed deposit account with any kenyan bank you're probably getting seven to eight percent per year in yield farming you will see some projects giving you almost 60 percent per year others 90 percent per year 40 percent per year so we are going to look at those as far as farming and staking is concerned then you're going to look at something called the DeFi or the decentralized finance now Cryptocurrency initially when it was invented, it was a way of running away from the local governments whereby people can have 
like a banking system where the government is not involved and that is why cryptocurrency is known as decentralized as unlike in the, the normal financial banking where we have the central bank of kenya the federal reserve in the u.s and any other central banks that you may know of okay now these central banks that is why you will hear some for example if you if for example i receive let's say 100 million in my ncba account today my that money is going to be held hostage until i can prove the source of that money but with cryptocurrency because it's decentralized and no one knows that you're receiving this money and no one cares how much you receive you can receive even a billion okay worth of cryptocurrency but no one will come and ask you a question so we are going to learn about how DeFi is changing the world and also how you can actually offer and also get crypto loans then we're going to look at the metaverse and now the metaverse is a very very uh, funny and exciting analogy and this is one of the reasons that Facebook actually changed their name from Facebook to Meta because every tech giant company that you know out there, be it Google, be it uh, Facebook, be it uh, Microsoft, any tech giant company, be it Apple, everyone is trying to rush to be the first person or the first company to actualize the Metaverse. Now the Metaverse is an analogy of a virtual world, okay? whereby you can pretty own something virtually in a virtual world whereby take for example a virtual world about um, let's say um, which which country do you guys know that have a lot of minerals let's say like congo so there can be a metaverse uh, or a virtual world like the drc congo where people do mine gold and you can own a portion of land in congo in the metaverse and anyone who comes to mine gold from that place virtually will actually be paying dues to you because you are the owner. Well, it might sound very critical at the moment, but this is where the future is going. Okay, So we are going to look at the metaverse and get to understand much more about it. Then we'll go into our week 5. And in our week 5, we are going to learn about the trade setup and uh, how, you know, how to set up a trade, how to analyze the market, how the sentiments or how the emotions of people change how the market is moving and then you are going to look at a very 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 important topic in week five which is fundamental analysis and fundamental analysis will be able will help you to be able to know which project is likely to do very well in the future and after this presentation i'm going to show you uh, some of the projects that have really done very well uh, previously and it is after learning about fundamental analysis that you will also be in a position to do that by yourself okay be able to read the white paper be able to know who the founders of a certain project are be able to know why is this project being launched who are their competitors how do they differ from their competitors how fast is this project what are the fees what are the vulnerabilities what are the pros and cons of this project so that will come in handy in week five under fundamental analysis then we will go into our week six and in our week six we are going to learn about technical analysis now here we will learn in depth uh, in depth uh, education about now trading here we are going to learn about something called price action being able to read how the price movement of a certain currency is going and also we are going to combine this with what we call the candlestick patterns and it is after learning about the price action and candlestick patterns that you can easily be able to tell where the market is likely to move from where it currently is depending with how the market is currently behaving and how it has performed previously and you will learn that history repeats itself and it is in this class on technical analysis that you're going to be able to learn that and understand then we are going to look at some things called indicators in this technical analysis class and uh, these indicators include some indicators called the MACD and don't confuse it with McDonald's it um, moving average divergence convergence or moving uh, moving average convergence divergence then we are going to look at uh, ST, uh, RSI or relative strength index then you're going to look at channels and trend lines. 
then you're going to look at support and resistance and many other aspects or many other indicators that will be our week six then our week seven which will be our last week uh, we are going to uh, learn about responsible trading how do you become a responsible trader you know you need to have a journal you need to avoid over trading you need to make sure you take some rest uh, every now and then you need to know how many trades you're supposed to take on a daily basis okay and this will help you to manage your trades properly so that will come in week seven also we are going to learn the difference between trading and investment because it's quite a very big difference and after learning that you're going to learn on how to identify long-term and short-term trading and investment opportunity after then we will go to capital management and how you can protect your capital remember even before you enter into any project the first and the foremost thing that you should always be looking at is how to protect your capital so we are going to learn about capital management and after that you are going to learn uh, about risk management this will still come in uh, capital management we will touch something on web3 it might not be here but we are going to touch on web3 and you will understand that in future you will not need to create like a facebook account for you to be able to use facebook or create an aliexpress account for you to be able to buy something or create a jumia or amazon or whatever alibaba account for you to be able to buy something you will just need to collect your wallet and it is through the web3 that you will be able to do this you just need to collect your wallet and give your address and then you make the payment you sign the transaction and then whatever product that you ordered for will be delivered to you so that is web 3 and we are going to differentiate it with web 2 web 2 are the likes of facebook twitter youtube instagram whatsapp uh, applications that you can interact with and i don't know whether you guys have asked have ever asked yourself why does facebook and twitter and and um, instagram whatsapp uh, google why why do they give you why do they let you use their applications or their services for free it's because these guys are collecting your data every time you want to use a facebook account you need to create an account they will ask you what is your age where were you born from uh, uh, it will ask you what are your hobbies what are your interests it will ask you which school did you go to which secondary school did you go to which university what course did you learn so as they ask you this question you're very happy giving them your details uh, whereas they are very happy collecting your data and this is the data they collect and sell because if you never knew data selling is a multi-billion industry okay it's a multi-billion industry and a lot of companies are actually making money out of data buying and selling so how it happens is after you've given all your details to facebook facebook will now group you people depending on how old you are if you are female or male if you are interested in lifestyle if you are interested in traveling so depending with which company if for example you've said you are an it guy so you will be grouped with other it guys and then your data will be sold probably to IT companies or companies that are selling computers or are selling mobile phones like take Apple for example, take Samsung for example and they will be able to target you with ads. That is why I don't know whether it has ever happened to you. You Google something on Google Chrome, probably you're looking which is the best laptop to buy for a student or which is the best place to go for a vacation. And then after you've left that page and you've continued doing other things on other website, you start seeing adverts about something that you had Googled and you wonder, how are these people able to read my mind? It's because they are tracking you and they have your data. And those companies uh, that are dealing with whatever service you're looking for have actually been given your details and they know what you are interested in. And that is why uh, data selling is a multi-billion industry. So that will be our week seven. Well, in the poster it reads, we are going to learn this for eight weeks. Yes, we are going to learn for eight weeks. The curriculum should take a maximum of seven weeks. But you normally give a grace period of like one week because sometimes you might have so many questions. Sometimes we might need to 
uh, do a certain topic sometimes there might not be power you know it happens there might not be electricity and that means probably you are going to miss the class so that is why we do eight weeks okay so uh, but in as much as uh, or as far as uh, we are not going to have any of those hiccups then the class is going to take us seven weeks and that will mean uh, we will come to the end of the class then of course the class closure we'll do a class closure uh, question and answers if you'll be having any then interactions and giveaway by the end of the class someone will win something we will know what i will give as we come to the end of the class and we will know who to give depending on how you guys are going to perform uh, as far as the curriculum is concerned now what is required of you very simple and very easy something that you really don't need to stress uh, about what you need to is to have an open mind forget everything you've ever been told about crypto if you've been told cryptocurrency is a scam forget about that if you've ever lost money in cryptocurrency you never lost money through bitcoin you never lost money in cryptocurrency you probably lost money through a fraudster or through a ponzi scheme it's not cryptocurrency you cannot lose money in cryptocurrency unless you get scammed okay and especially because we are going to be learning about spot trading most well you can lose money in cryptocurrency especially if you're trading futures but in spot trading you only lose your money when you sell at a loss but you're going to see how you can mitigate that then it's very very important that you keep time and you take your notes and pay attention and listen and also it's important that you do research even after the class and also do assignments you're going to be having some few assignments that you will you will be required to do okay and uh you also need to have some good internet but this we will talk about these in the first class for those who are going to enroll then our five golden reminders for us to have a fun and a productive class okay so <coughs> it's important to be very honest okay and be responsible be respectful to others and be kind polite and caring okay be caring to your uh, to your fellow student okay be polite be kind if someone asks a question and you don't know the answer just be polite or if we talk this in the class and someone is asking about it again and again try and explain you know just be kind and polite and caring and also it's very important that you be a good listener so with that said, uh, let's talk about time. All our trainings will always start at uh, will always start at 9 p.m. every day, and will end at 10 p.m. and that is East African time. And our classes will be running Monday through Friday. And it's important that I caution you: sometimes the classes might take longer. Sometimes you might extend up to 11, and maybe 11 that is sometimes, not always. But I'll always try to make sure that we are within limits, at least one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, okay? So it's just important that you know sometimes the classes might take longer, okay? So with that said, um, I want us to have a look at a few things to give you, you know, a feeling of how the class will be conducted and why you don't want to miss this. But before that, I have some screenshots that I want to share with you. And these are screenshots of some uh, some trades that we have done before okay and you can see here for example with this with this project here it's called mini doge this one we did with the very first class the very first class and you can see here this is a screenshot i took of the money that i made from this project and this was money that was made within less than a week and you can see how much this was this was over nine thousand six hundred dollars that's over one million kenya shillings can imagine and then this is a project that we did with the previous not the previous one the previous but one the first class for this year the first class for this year and uh, we actually bought into a project called the big five token and you can see how much we had generated from this project called the BFT it's still a very good project to buy because well I know the owners and the founders and uh, whatever they are working on is something very great and it's going to be one of the best tokens ever made by africans okay it's called the big five token this is another one million so we do have some opportunities like this every now and then not always and 
I don't want you to have the mentality of crypto is a get rich quick scheme. No, it is not. It needs your patience and it needs you to have the knowledge so that you are able to know which project to buy, when to buy it and why. Because this is a mistake that a lot of people who don't have uh, the crypto education do. And what they do is they buy into crypto assets when the market is going up. Like for example, when the market was going to 69,000, 70,000, everyone was rushing to buy, but only because they never had enough education. But if you've gone through the academy, you will very well understand that that would be your time for you to, already you would have started collecting your profits because one thing is for sure that the market will always come back and the market will always bounce back. Currently, you might be wondering why is you know the whole market coming down? Because if you look at how much Bitcoin is currently trading, it's trading between 22,000 and 23,000. But sometimes back, it was trading at 69,000. That is in November last year. Why then has it come down by almost 60%? So we're going to learn about that uh, when it comes to sentimental analysis, okay? And also other factors that might affect that or that might lead to that. So with that said, um, maybe you're wondering how much will be the fee, okay? Now the fees is a hundred dollars and that is equivalent if we do with the current uh, Kenya shillings to dollar rate that is uh, 118.5 then the fee is going to be 11,580 Kenya shillings and if you're paying through cryptocurrency whether you're paying through Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum or USDT make sure you're sending a hundred dollars okay so that is the fee and uh, well, I was to give um, a free entry to the class, but I did that yesterday. I think I even shared a video for transparency. I even shared a video and someone by the name Blessed One actually won a spot yesterday. So with that said, uh, that is the end of the presentation. Unless there is someone who has a question before we actually dive into giving you a feeling of how the classes are normally conducted. Any question?